Hey everyone, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic week. I am doing a collab this week with my bestie and brand ambassador, the lovely Natalie Mugridge. You all know who she is. Go check out her video too. I'm so excited about this. I always love it whenever I collab with Nat. We wanted to do a hard gel set. So I'm going to be using Bling Line. That is uh, my choice of hard gels. I love them. And um, yeah, they're really beautiful gels um, to work with. So I'm going to be using that nice builder gel. I have my Aliana and uh, my Aliana hand out. Um, all the little nail tips, as you can see, are prepped. And I'm just jumping right in here with this beautiful soft baby pink Ella color. Now, although we decided to do mermaid nails, I kind of wanted to go um, to sort of have a different take on them. I kind of wanted to do more sort of the pinky, rose goldy kind of colors, um, those kind of tones, rather than the blues and greens. I love the blues and greens, but I just decided just to go for yeah, the kind of pinks and rose golds, just something a bit different. Um, so I'm putting four uh, different colors here of hard gel onto my palette. And what I'm doing on the forefinger and the, sorry, the pointer finger and the pinky is I just want to do a sort of basic marble sort of design. So I just place that on. I am not the best of marbles, I'm not gonna lie, um, but um, I just sort of done what I could really, I need more practice at them. And then once that's cured, I just go in and cap everything with um, some builder gel. This this builder gel here is, it's it's so good because now it's not, it's not a self-leveling one, but don't be frightened of that because it stays put if you need it to stay put and you want time to work with it. For me, it is, it's a really good one, especially if you're quite new to gels because you don't kind of have that time restraint, especially more with the self-leveling ones. You've got that little bit of time because where you put this, it ain't gonna move. So um, yeah, this gives you time to work with it. So that's me there, just kind of putting my apex in, making sure the sides are covered and I kind of just sort of go around and check that. I sort of had to cut the video down as much as possible to get all of this fitted in because it was a pretty long set which it always is with um, the hard gel, because there's a lot more to it. Um, but anyway, moving on to the ring finger, sorry, the ring finger, I'm going in with Ella, and these beautiful little decals, are. I'm gonna be using these. These will be launching very soon on Nail Sugar. Um, so, and I can't wait, this is a sneak peek, because um, I just, I had to use these in this set. Um, I, I, I couldn't hold on, I just thought these are perfect and I love the colours on them because you get the blues, greens, pinks, purples, all kind of different colours. Um, so I've just applied those onto the tacky layer when I cured Ella and uh, I'm just now sort of very, very gently going over that with almost like a bit of a sort of slip layer. I just want everything sort of covered um, just to make sure it's all encapsulated but um, I just wanted then to add some sparkle to it so uh, this here is the beautiful bronze blush and I have just mixed that with a little bit of gel and uh, as you can see I just kind of put that as and where I want to just a little bit of builder gel and uh, it just sort of allows me to lift it and manipulate it a little bit better onto the design and just kind of set it on there, you know, because I just wanted to, to do that as if the Little Mermaids are swimming away. So once that's been cured, then I go in with my encapsulating bead and just get everything covered up, ready for another cure. Okay, so moving on now to the middle nail. This was the design that definitely took the longest. This is Michaela um, from Bling Line. This is their color gel. And it's such a beautiful color, probably one of my favorites. Um, it's just a good summer one. It 
great for Indian summer nails, autumn nails. It is a beautiful color. Um, so I have cured the Michaela in the lamp and I think I'm going in here with a very, very thin slip layer. Um, and that's just to kind of, just to cover the whole nail because what I want to do is, as you can see here, I want to sort of strategically place some of the glitters um, to kind of make it look like, I suppose, a bit of a sort of fish, fish scale effect, if you will. This is sandstone. I done um, an ombre kind of effect with this. So I started off with sandstone and then I went into bronze blush and then I went into rosy posy. Um, so this here definitely took the longest because I had to sort of sit and obviously, you know, place each one of those glitters, but I really wanted that effect. Um, and I just, I was so pleased with how it turned out and I wish you could see it in real life because you can see that beautiful ombre effect whenever you move the nail. It's just, oh, it's lovely. It's really, really, really nice. And I loved it with these tones. Um, I think I've done it before, but with blues and greens and things like that there, but um gosh that was some time ago so um i was i just i loved seeing it in the sort of this the more metallic sort of golds and rose golds and things like that so this is now me moving on to bronze blush and i'm just doing exactly the same here and i will continue to kind of um add those down to rosy posy as well which you will see after i've applied the the bronze blush Okay, and once that has been cured and those little shapes are all in place, when it comes out of the lamp, sometimes there is just like little specks of glitter if it's been in a mix. So just using the silicone tool, I just kind of clean that up a little bit. And then I'm just going in then with a slip layer before I encapsulate because I just find that um, works better whenever I am uh, using my encapsulating bead because we're going over glitter here. So it just makes that encapsulation really smooth. And then we'll go in for a cure. Okay, so once everything's fully cured, we can now get that tacky layer off for filing. So what I like to do is I always like to go in with my e-file first. This is the Medico e-file. Um, it is fantastic. If you're looking for a really good e-file, I would highly recommend this e-file. And you can find it um, on the Little Nail shop. Their, web, their website will be linked below. It is just fantastic. Um, so I like to debulk everything with that first. And then once I have sort of like a debulked a lot of the nail, and it doesn't take much with this gel, files really easily. Then I just go in there with a the hand file and I just kind of refine all that and then I will buff it as well too. Okay, so now adding the final bits of nail art details here. This is um, no wipe top coat and I have just sort of cured that on the pointer finger and the pinky. And then these are the little sort of sticky nail art stencils that you've seen me use a few times. I think you can get them on eBay, Amazon, that kind of thing. 
um, and I'm just getting some um, of that chrome and I'm sort of pushing it in. Um, I didn't want to sort of like blend it too much. I thought I would give this nail a go and see how it turned out. Um, so, and it was really, really, really nice that effect. It gives like a fish scale effect. And then I done exactly the same. And as I say, all you have to do is dip into the lid. Nail Sugar Chrome is so beautiful to use, but you need so, so little of it. And then we just, you know, go over that then with a top coat. Again, this is the No Wipe. Um, and the same with the Pinky. And then I'm going to top coat the other nails. We will go in for a cure. And then it's time for the reveal. Ta -da, there we go guys this is the finished look the rose gold mermaid set and uh, i hope you really like that i really enjoyed doing this haven't done hard gel in ages and that was one of the things that natalie and i had said that we really wanted to do so thank you natalie for suggesting this little collab i'm just absolutely over the moon as always to do a collab with you um love you to bits and of course most of you will know her channel but if there's someone out there that doesn't, I'm just going to leave her link below um, and just go and check it out. She's an amazing nail artist and such a lovely, lovely person. Um, so, yeah, uh, you will enjoy her videos. No end. She is such a giggle. Um, so, yeah, so have a great week. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you all next time. Bye.